Sup guys, Christos here. In today's video, we are gonna be talking all about Coinbase, and boy, do we have some major updates. First up, we have a brand new NFT marketplace that's just been announced. We then have Kathy Wood dumping some of her holdings in the company, and then finally, we have earnings seasons just around the corner, and what I'm going to be doing is discussing all of that in this video. So make sure you smash that like button down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and yeah, Let's jump straight into it. All right, so let's kick things off with the main talking point of this video, and that is Coinbase yesterday evening announced that they are launching a completely separate NFT marketplace to its users. Now, as you can see on their website, we have a basic launch page that basically just says create, collect, and connect with a waiting list at the bottom that you can sign up to with your email. Now, the most important piece of text that makes me excited on this website is the part where it actually reads that it's launching this year. Now, we're already in October. That obviously means that literally within the next two months or so, this is actually going to be here and ready to be able to start using. Now, guys, this is absolutely massive. This is the news that I have been waiting for as an investor into Coinbase and as a user for the past two months. And there's two main reasons why I've been so excited for this. Number one, the first one this is, it was only last week that I was talking about how that 96% of the company's revenue was currently coming from transaction fees and how I think it's extremely important for the company to diversify as many ways as possible that they can actually make money. Now, this is about to change with the launch of this new platform. What is simply going to happen is that this is going to open up the potential for a completely brand new revenue stream that is something completely different to the standard way of trading cryptocurrencies. However, what I think is the most important thing about this new revenue stream that is eventually going to come is that I think we're actually going to see a psychological change in the way people view this stock. Right now, one of the biggest driving factors to Coinbase's share price is of course the performance of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. And with this move into the NFT space, given its successful launch, it's going to help pull the company away from the fact that it's just a crypto trading company. And I think that this is going to be really good for the stock in the future because at the end of the day, Coinbase is a company, it's not a currency. And right now, I do get the vibes that it does kind of trade alongside Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies depending on how well they do. So that is number one, massive, massive uh, plus here for the NFT marketplace. The second reason is that this move into the NFT space is going to attract a wider variety of people onto the Coinbase platform and build an even larger market share than it already currently has right now. Currently, at the time of recording this video, the leading platform for buying and selling NFTs is a website called OpenSea. Now, if you say this to anyone that is pretty much clued up about cryptocurrencies, they will probably know what you're on about. However, if you mention this to somebody that is now starting to hear about the NFT hype, that's maybe dabbled a little bit into crypto, but has absolutely no idea on where to go to buy NFTs and sell NFTs, me being one of them almost, because it is quite a confusing thing to get into, this is probably going to be completely foreign, but now you mention, oh, you can just go onto Coinbase and buy and sell them on there. This way, they're going to have that brand recognition because Coinbase has already been there. If they've heard anything about cryptocurrencies, they've likely heard about Coinbase and they're gonna have a rough idea on how the platform works. Another thing I have to mention as well is that this announcement is also going to be just as big for the NFT market in general. Now, if people were starting to think that maybe interest was starting to peak in this market, well, one thing that's certainly going to happen now is that this is going to start spiking again when Coinbase launches this platform. In terms of how Coinbase's share price has reacted to this news right now, there hasn't really been any kind of movement with the stock and it's roughly half a percentage point down in after hours trading. But in all honesty, I didn't really expect anything to come from this announcement in terms of the share price straight away. It's all going to be judged in the success of the launch and the growth of this new marketplace. And we will likely start seeing that, not in the next earnings call, but maybe more so in the first couple of quarters of 2020. But 
that's the first major update. Coinbase is going to launch an NFT platform, which I think is only going to be a positive move for this company going forward. Now, the next thing that we have to talk about is Kathy Wood and ARK Invest selling 98,000 shares of the company, which was an equivalent of $25 million worth of stock at the start of this week. Now, when it comes to talking about Kathy Wood and the stocks that she's buying and selling, I think this is a really tricky subject to talk about. I'm sure you've seen the YouTube videos that's titled like, Kathy Wood just bought this, Kathy Wood just sold this, Kathy Wood said this, Kathy Wood said that, and so on. Now, as YouTubers, one thing that we have to do is try to entice you into a video and then in return, we need to provide you with a video that's jam packed with value. However, a lot of the times, titles and thumbnails are always going to be often exaggerated, but this is just simply one way that the platform works and if you've been watching YouTube for a long time, you would have already learned that. However, back to ARK Invest selling Coinbase, there's a couple of things that you guys actually need to remember. Number one, the majority of ARK Invest is going to consist of what is classed as actively managed funds. This means that they are buying and selling shares in companies every single day to try and maximize the returns for their investors. Now, with Coinbase, they simply sold their holdings on the day where the stock price spiked at the highest point for a certain time period. And with them selling just a small percentage of their stock, which we'll get to in a second, this is just simple trading practices of buying stock at a low price and selling at a high price. The likelihood is, if the company drops over the next three weeks, then there's likely going to be a headline on the news uh, papers saying, Kathy Wood just bought $25 million worth of Coinbase stock or something like this. This is just the way that her ETF works and it's the way that it's been so successful because they know when to buy stocks when they're at their highest peak and they know when to buy stocks when they're beaten down and they're showing good value. Now the second reason why this should be absolutely zero concern to you at all as a Coinbase investor and this one actually backs the first point up even more and that is if we head over to cafesart.com which is a site that actually tracks their daily trades and we actually take Take a look at the combined earnings or the combined holdings, sorry, across all 152 ETFs that they have. We can actually see that Coinbase still remains the third largest holding in their portfolio despite selling off $25 million worth of their stock. So what does that teach us? Well, in simple, as retail investors, if we see a headline that reads, Kathy Wood sells $25 million worth of Coinbase stock, $25 million is a major amount of money to us, but when we actually sit down, slow down a second, and break all of that down and compare it into the grand scheme of things, it's actually going to be hardly anything into the relation of the holdings that actually ARK Invest have that in their portfolio. In fact, if we just take a look at this chart right here that details the positions ARK Invest has actually built in Coinbase, as you can see, they initially bought 750,000 shares on the IPO date. And then from there, they pretty much aggressively bought this stock from there, which I guess is probably what they were doing to lower their cost bases. But the thing here is if we actually take a look at this week where you can see the dip where they actually sold off the share. This represents selling off all of those shares and as you can probably see and work out now, it's absolutely nothing compared to what they still actually hold. So just to summarize the whole Kathy Wood point right here, sometimes news headlines can be very deceiving and all in all, we have nothing as Coinbase investors to worry about. All right, so let's now talk about the upcoming earnings as I won't likely make another Coinbase video, well, unless we get anything else major before then. And what it looks like is that these earnings calls are going to take place around November 9th time, so just under a month away. And of course, during the earnings, we're going to be focusing on the main financials like the revenue growth and all of that good stuff. But the one thing that I'm really excited to do is actually tune into the actual call because I think firstly, we're definitely going to get some new insights on the new NFT platform. But more importantly, we're going to see how revenue streams are going to expand in the future. Another thing I'm really interested to hear about is what they actually have to say about the recent spat with the SEC regarding regarding what was supposed to be the new lending feature. One thing I have actually just seen while preparing this video is that Coinbase are now looking to produce their own kind of regulation kind of white paper. Now, I haven't had the time to look at this and actually figure out what is actually going on here. But one thing I do know is that 
coming off all the back of the fret from the SEC around a month or so ago. It's going to be really interesting to see the developments that have been made on this. I didn't think that they were going to go as far as doing anything like this. Um, so I think they will bring that up in the earnings call, but like I said, we'll have to tune in on November the 9th to check that out. But nonetheless, it's all looking very positive in terms of the future for this company. It certainly hasn't been the easiest ride for Coinbase and their first year as a public company, but as an investor, I'm feeling very positive on what's to come. One thing to mention before I do go is that if you haven't gone over to Free Trade and got your stock worth up to £200, then make sure you do that. The link is going to be in the description down below. And also go ahead and sign up to the Free Investors Discord group where we have a dedicated Coinbase channel to stay up to date with everything that happens. Other than that, guys, I'll catch you in the next video and take care.